Hello, welcome to Substance. You normally receive uh, a beautiful uh, coffee from uh, the Gem series uh, with uh, Coffee Vine. And uh, this coffee is a Finca de Borat Terroir by uh, Substance Cafe, by uh, me, I think. And, um, and we will uh, brew it uh, together, a little, little bit of, uh, of this uh, amazing terroir. Uh, so, what kind of uh, farm is it? Finca de Bra is for me one of the best farm of the world. You, you have uh, in this farm you have a beautiful terroir from uh, the district of Chiriqui and in Panama. And Jameson decided to grow up all the geisha uh, under the forest. And um, for this one, the terroir, it's a wash process officially, but non officially, it's pretty close to a no fermentation coffee. Why? Because Jameson depulps the coffee and after uh, depulping, it don't put inside tank and with water. That's why Jameson is said it's no fermentation coffee because you, you don't have time for fermentation. And this coffee is absolutely amazing because it's so close to the terroir, to the place, to the nature. Of of course, it's possible because this terroir is one of the best of the world. We will brew and for that I need the coffee. My coffee, for me, I think it's good for you. It's a good advice uh, for you to make the same. It's always on my freezer. After maybe 10 or 15 days, it's possible after if you don't have time, uh, it's possible to vacuum on the little pocket by 12 or 14 grams, if depend on you. For me, it's 12. And when you brew it, uh, you will have a better recipe. You will, you will, you don't waste the coffee. It's always the same recipe, and the um, grind size will be better. So, so you have uh, less fine and less coarse. Okay. You are in my shop. So where is my coffee? It's in my freezer, and I have the terroir. And it's a real terroir, it's not a, it's a fake terroir because it's a video. And yeah, yes, the joke is always on my shop too. It's a problem for my customers. So, I have always a little bit of approach. I think at home it's maybe not necessary. Uh, if you have a, a hand grinder, don't push, don't waste too much coffee. In this shop, I prefer to purge, but at home, maybe you just Grind just 12 grams, it's very, very good. Good. Beautiful water with uh, a lot of calcium inside. You will, uh, maybe we have another video for water because it's very important. You want to smell it? Mmm. The problem is the technology is not enough good. Even if I have a good. Uh, iPhone? No, you don't have the smell, but you have at home. Yep, 12 grams, 12 is 12. Ah, oh, 12, 15 is too much, of course. Yep, 12, zero, zero. Okay, so what is my recipe? My recipe is always at zero, I put 30 grams. Pretty gentle. I don't want to, to, want to have too many channeling at the beginning. After, when I will uh, have 30 seconds, I try, I try to put until cumulative 70 grams, just plus 40, but I don't calculate. You have my, uh, my uh, scale, timer, and weight, 70, it's 73, <laughs> sorry. But why? It's because I try to have a lot of turbulence. You, you see that? I try to, to have a lot of power because I think it's a light roasting and with light roasting you need a lot of power. And that's why I use this kind of flow rate. That's why I cut my my um, my abaca paper. I think it's better to brew with abaca paper. And yeah. I put a lot of flow rate. Okay, at one minute it's 110 grams. After 130 160 and two minutes 200 if it's 202 205 it's not a problem with this coffee because it's very very light roast and it's possible to have a beautiful taste without bitterness there are no bitterness in this coffee and now 
the fourth pole and in 30 seconds the last pole. Yes, I cut it to be more close, to have an horizontal turbulence. I created this recipe seven years ago, but not with the turbulence, and maybe four years ago with turbulence. And now with the light roast, I recommend to you to use this because it's very, very a powerful technique to increase the extraction. My coffee is always with a lot of acidity, but I try like a very, very ripe fruits to have the more structured coffee, acidic and sweet. Without sweetness, the acidity is just sourness, but without acidity, your coffee is boring. That's why I try to have that. When you will have my coffee, I hope the first sip will be a lot of flour, but we will see in a few minutes. Normally, this coffee is so dense. Don't worry if uh, the coffee is a little bit um, long to, to extract. The extraction time is in between 3 minutes and 3.30. If it's too more, maybe use uh, a, just a little bit more powerful water, like uh, a little bit uh, water with more ppm inside. Or maybe use the abaca paper or the old ayo paper. The new one is more long. It's not bad, but it's just more long. Why not? But after you need to cross to have a coarse grind. We have uh, three minutes ten now. Ah, yeah. I don't say to you. Sorry. Uh, my water today it's at um, ninety one degrees Celsius, ninety two maximum. I think after you don't have too much the taste of the terroir of my terroir, you have maybe more the taste of uh, roasting. Even if I don't roast too much, it's not necessary to have a roasting aroma in your in your cup. I prefer to have jasmine than caramel. Okay, so good. And do you smell it? Wow, so beautiful. I have the smell of orange, jasmine, craft fruits. Mm, that all is enough. And maybe a little bit of, uh, of oolong tea. You have a little bit for you? Yeah. We are a secret customer here. Not the best. So, normally the first sip at 60 degrees will be very jasmine. A lot of jasmine. A little bit of orange juice. And you have a sweetness. Sweetness like a, um, a caramelized sweetness. Try it, please. Yeah. Jasmine, orange, maybe a little bit of raspberry, the acidity of raspberry, but not too much because it's terroir. Terroir don't have too much red fruits. Terroir is more for, um, floral taste and orange, grape fruits and citrus taste. But it's so delicate. The body is incredible, like silky body. You have a beautiful, very, very beautiful taste of, um, of all this kind of delicate flower. Don't hesitate to have more time to drink it. It's necessary to some time to take off your brain and to to appreciate, to don't try to to find everything because it's so complicated and subtle, but it's so good. After when the coffee cooled down a little bit, I think you have more citrusy parts. Mm, not just citrusy parts. I have a rose and lychee taste. But yeah, I have orange, bergamot, lime, and a little bit of fruits. But not the sourness of grape fruit, just sweetness. And in um, voix off, what do you think? It's great. It's great. Great? No. It's not an aroma. Huh? Don't, uh, don't say it. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Okay, I try to, to have the cold, the cold taste now. It's not very, very cold, but you have the beginning of the red fruits and a very, very beautiful acidity. It's absolutely amazing. I hope you will like it because, because it's my favorite coffee. Enjoy your coffee.
And if you want an advice or just to give a feedback, don't hesitate to text uh, us on Instagram, to text Coffee Vine or to text uh, me uh, in Substance Cafe's Instagram. And because we created, with my wife, we created this shop to, to have a, a sharing. And that's why I want to, to have this video with you because you are not here, not now, maybe soon. And don't hesitate to share with me. Bye-bye.